Hey everyone, Zepan here. Welcome back to Sky Vaults, episode 47 here. We got some mob farms to do. We have uh, a slime farm for sure. And then we're going to try to make a plan for copper and snowballs and all that kind of stuff in the future. Snowballs, we really just have to set up a snowman. That said, with the snowman, we're going to have to set that up in the river biome. Because I believe snowmen melt in savannas. So I just, I'm just realizing that now. But anyway, um, we've got some stuff to do. We also have some experience held up in our farm here. Now, the way the experience collects, it doesn't really cause too much of a problem uh, lag-wise because they collect, collect into like five total experience balls. So it's not just like a bunch on the ground like in old school days. But uh, I want to I want to collect that. We're level 33. I want to collect that and see how many uh, levels we get here after this has been running for a while. So should be a fun time. I'm rambling in the intro once again. I'll see you in the episode. <laughs> Good to hear the mob farm going off with the intro there. Best of 22, just stop by to say hi. Have a great stream. No worries, Best of 22. Thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate you. So, okay. Everything is working here. Let's go ahead and do this. 88. Okay, that's actually less than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. Less than I was expecting. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure I just deleted all of those things. That's okay. We'll have to get... And that's going to get deleted as well. Classic. All right. I did want to swap out these swords because we didn't do that yesterday. Because this, this should definitely be one-shotting now. Um, and I got to get some stuff here. Yeah. Beautiful. So that'll be on that'll be on one shot. That'll be one shot. Let me go get some stuff to fill this in. So, actually, before we even do that. So, if you go to the map and you go to mini-map settings or however you get to mini-map settings. Whether it's for, through the, uh, the, the hotkey or, or just through the map settings. There is overlay settings. Yes. Overlay settings, slime chunks on. So actually this farm is slightly in a slime chunk. I'm actually surprised we haven't had a slime spawn in there. I mean, I, oh, it has to be a certain Y level, doesn't it? It has to be below a certain Y level, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it has to be below a certain Y level. So, we actually have a nice plus shape here, too. Look at this. There's a nice big Tetris piece here. This is only good for, like, vanilla stuff. Yeah, below Y40. That's it. That's it. So, maybe we actually move this entire thing down. That's really the question, right? Whether we, well, no, because I think it's just easier to make a standalone slime chunk farm. But then we would utilize the same sword setup, right? But then this would be further away. Hmm. It is, it is interesting. These guys don't even get killed by that. Yeah, this one needs to be redone a little bit as well. Uh, huh. Okay. I think we'll just, I think we'll just, we'll run it down and we'll run it to the same chest there. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a platform at like Y40-ish, Y35-ish. Um, it's going to be a very small, a very, very small build. Uh, if you watch season two, we had like a, a full chunk. We used the 16 by 16 because we were using the iron golem to, to attract them. What I think I'm going to do is make it just like a, honestly, the minimum size spawning. Which I guess is a five by five or is it four by four? I mean, we don't even need the big ones. We don't even need that much. Like you get so much. Hmm. I think I might do like a maybe we'll do like a five by five or five by like sixteen, and we'll do the same cart system to push the slimes into a five by five pit. Um, because we don't need we only need spikes for them. We don't need we don't need to kill them with looting, right? So we only need just spikes and hoppers are, are all we need for them, and then we'll just have a, a sender to send them back up. So. I'm going to go do that. I am going to grab some tinted glass and fix up this thing, though. Real quick, before we, before we, before I go building here. Um, and then the algae-based stuff. Let's grab a few of those. Maybe some of that. Maybe some of that. Um, and what I wanted to do is here is... Oh, there we go. I wanted to get rid of these spikes. These spikes are taking away from my... Uh, Can't get to them. These spikes are taking away from my 
I see. Ender pearls. I gotta figure out another method to kill the the blitzes that go here. But for now, that'll do. And now that we're one-shotting stuff, I think it's better because they don't rise. I think that might be the like like our catch there. Because I think the blitzes were only rising because they weren't getting one shot and then they were getting out of range. Now that they're getting one shot, I think we're okay. But I'm not a hundred percent on that. But anyway, all right, I'm gonna go build a, a platform at level uh, 40 here. How are we doing on? Oh, it's so so efficient on fuel. Love it. Um, I'm gonna go pillar down to Y40. Basically, I'm just I'm gonna put it. We have elevators, so I'm just gonna put an elevator down there. And then, uh, but yeah, I really just wanted to show off how to get the slime chunk overlay going, because I think my long term goal here is to unlock mob spawners. Um, we did build with this river biome in, in view for the drown farm but i i really don't feel like building a big drown farm, like a building big vanilla based drown farm i also don't think the rates are going to be good enough on that so for the amount of copper that we need so i think getting mob spawners up and running um first to then get the so so there's a couple things need to happen before that we need to get a uh, wither skeleton farm going before that so we're gonna need to hop in the nether get that running up and running um, because we need skulls to turn the eggs into to spawn eggs. So these eggs we need for the hostile spawn eggs. Oh no, they they changed the recipe. Okay, never mind. We don't need that. Well, I still want to make that, but we, we might be able to do this earlier rather than later. Then got it. Okay, cool. And we have quite a few mystery eggs as well. In the past, that was that took um, wither skulls. How many eggs do we have? We have thirty-five. So that's actually pretty good. Pretty good spread there. If we get some drowned, because you only need one for the mob spawners. They're just, they're a little bit more expensive, but they require an echo pog, which we should be able to do. Yeah, we should be able to do no problem. Um, we might do a little bit of grinding out of the, the player ores, but um, yeah, big fan of the echo pog stuff apparently. But for now, let's work on the, let's focus on the, focus on the thing we need for sure, which is a slime farm. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go build a platform get all that going we'll show off the actual minutia and the, the you know the the details of the farm uh, as we build it for sure but basically we're just getting down to y level y 30 um, we could go all the way down i guess but i want to keep it in range here and it's just going to be a very simple push farm that kills the spikes that's all it's going to be so all right i'll see when the platform is built <laughs> so i keep forgetting about this place so while while we're pillaring down let's just uh let's, let's go ahead and take care of that because i almost got shot off by a skeleton <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Okay. Alright, that should be good enough. And that's just exposed there, and that's totally fine. Yeah, that I, honestly, I have actually noticed that there's more mobs spawning in there, in that farm, since upgrading it to the 20, because it's killing them faster, right? So it just increases the rates. So... There's multiple ways to pillar down. Again, we could we could use the water method. Honestly, that probably would be better and easier. But I'm just using the quark method. So if you go nearby a block, you can do it this way. And I am just dropping to it. One, because there's that down there, which makes me feel safer. But also I have my light drawn and rockets. So, you know, we're fine. But yeah, I'm just going down here. And then we'll, we'll put, I'll pop an elevator. And then I'll probably just mine this out after. But yeah, this is this is all I'm doing right here. So, yeah, just wanted to show off that technique. And also, <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny that I almost got shot off uh, the ledge here by the skeletons. I was like, I'll fix that later. I'll fix that later. So, anyway, I'll see you at Y40. All right. So, we are at Y30, negative 31, which is the catch tray level. Um, so, we just have a little 4x5 here. We're going to put some spikes there. I'm going to wait till after we get the pushing system going. Uh, if you do F3, then G, you get to see chunks. So this chunk over here is the slime chunk. So we're carefully made sure that our spawnable blocks are outside of that chunk. And by careful, I mean I got lucky. Um, and then checked it after the fact. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, still getting over being that cold or whatever I had. Uh, half slabs on the roof to prevent spawns. And then in, we just had the rest of the rest of this 5x4 being um, spawnable area. So, once we walk away, this should spawn some stuff. Uh, I haven't walked away yet, though. But uh, then we're just going to do the same paddle, you know, ping pong paddle style system that we had before uh, up top there. Actually, can just slap these on. 
Uh, but I need to go get some rails. I need to go get the cart assembler. Or I think it's just rails and a cart. We have the assembler. Yeah. Just rails and a cart. And then uh, we'll switch this bad boy on. And then we got a modular router this up to there somewhere. So, yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's go do that. Let's do that. I'm, I'm expecting this to spawn stuff pretty quickly. That said, it does take a hostile mob spot. So, this might take away from the rates a little bit. And I also may have the... Um, I may have the light... Oh, there it goes. Beautiful. Yeah. Right away. Well, that was just going to hop right into our tray, cat, our tray anyway. Nice. So that'll be very efficient. And we don't need it to be like the most efficient thing in the world. We just need it to be decent. It'll it'll fill up in no time. Trust me. Okay. We also grabbed that spare um, compacting drawer we had and put it here. So just wanted to show that off. Okay, so we need, we have a modular router. We need a sender. Uh, oh, I also converted all of my steel. We made about 41 steel, I think it was, from all the carbon we grinded for last game, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the range. Yep, augments here. We're going to need maybe, I don't know if we're going to need a stack upgrade for this. Um, also, Soprano Cat, thank you so much for sharing your Prime. Really appreciate that. That's a big way to support the content here on YouTube as well as on the Twitch chat. Appreciate you. That's uh, Sub Number 3 today, or 4? Four? 4. Sub Number 4 today. Really appreciate the support, everybody. So sorry about the nose. That's it's how it's going to be for a little bit. Um, okay, so I needed to... I need How many chassis do we have here? We don't have a lot of chassis, so we need to make some chassis. Uh, yep. These are so, so dirt cheap. I'm going to make half a stack. I'm, I'm sure we can probably utilize a full stack at some point. I've got my wrench on me. I need a cart. And I need rails. Which we actually have probably enough of. I'm going to grab two more of those. We've got the assembler. We got that. We just got to make sure we really don't lose that assembler. Uh... Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, F3G to turn off the chunk borders here. And then... I... Don't know how I want to assemble this. I just want to assemble it, like, right here. Just so I don't risk losing... All this, let's get the rails in place first, though. Did every two this time. It should. I think it's like every eight to theoretically keep it max speed, but I don't actually know. I'm just going to do that. I don't actually know the uh, exacts because it seems like it slows down after like three or four. So I'm, honestly, we could afford power rails for the entire thing. Uh, that's in here. Let's go ahead and grab you. Let's make it face that way. And once again, we just need a giant paddle. Um, we shouldn't need to make it more than three high. There's nothing going to be crawling on the ceiling here. I am going to extend it over into here by one, though. And we'll have to fill that. We'll have to fill that back in after the fact. Okay. I think that's literally it. And I think this one's just going to work right off the bat as well. Um, we just need a lever on there. This should turn. Perfect. As long as it turns in time for here. Looks like it. Okay. And then this should continue forever. This is why I didn't put the spikes in, because we're going to get pushed. Beautiful. Okay, and then we just put the spikes in. We're good. Oh, no. We're good. We're good, like... From a 
carts up and running perspective. Because these slimes don't require uh, player kills, which is super convenient. These bamboo spikes are ridiculously cheap once you have bamboo. It's very nice. I would recommend. Okay, and then we do... Oh, I need a puller module as well. That's right. Okay, so let's go make a puller module. Take a moment to let you know how much I appreciate YouTube as well as Twitch. Okay, back to lurking. I, I appreciate that. I really do. I really do. I, I'm loving how the YouTube community is growing. I'm loving how it's a big mix. Some Most people are both. Some people are on YouTube. Some people are only Twitch, and that's okay. Um, but it's just, it provides such a great opportunity for people to catch up on a series, watch a series that I've already done. Like, Ball Hunters is, we're not going to play Ball Hunters forever, right? In, like, two years or whatever from now, when we're on to the next series, or not even two years, like, less than ne next year, end of this year, when we're on to there, people are like, oh, have you checked out this Ball Hunters pack? Like, I have. All on the YouTube, you know? Stuff like that. So, looking forward to having that kind of archive style, where... People can check out my pre my past playthroughs, all that kind of stuff and more, you know? <laughs> so, really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Okay, so we need a... Uh, it's, not, it's not sender, it's puller. Yes. We only need mark Six one. Months of awesomeness, hey. the content. Thank you so much, Midwest Dad, for sharing your prime here. It's a big deal. I have a VOD channel. Uh, was, uh, the thing is, I, when I'm making a series, I don't put the series... On the VOD channel. I only put stuff on there that I'm not making a series out of. So all the Magic SMP stuff's up there. All the building sessions are up there. Um, when I start, when I start doing speedruns, which I, I guess I haven't uploaded the speedruns on there. Um, when I start doing speedruns again, we're going to put the speedruns on there. And then maybe we'll do have like one video of the actual speedrun. Um, or like a good a good PB type of thing. Um, but yeah, there, there is a VOD Pine channel that you can sub to. And... We're officially a quarter of the way there to uh, getting that monetized as well. Which, any any source of revenue, it all adds up. So any source of revenue at the end of the at the end of the day, especially if it coming it's coming from advertisers on like YouTube or Twitch ads, is a great way. Even if it's not like a whole like enough to support me as a whole, it all really does add up at the end of the day. So getting that, that getting that channel to a thousand subs. Would be awesome, and the 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 Dead by FPS channel is so close to a thousand subs to get it monetized, and that one's a big deal because that one gets not the same views that the Minecraft channel does, but it gets similar views at the start of a wipe. So, excuse me. Speaking of uh, speed runs, I kind of want to see a new pyramid pack. You know, that's something that's like old OG Minecrafters play a lot, and I never played it. Never played it. Okay, then we have this guy and this guy. Okay, so we got to go to here. Well, God, I gotta close that up. <laughs> Just gonna close it up with that for now. Uh, this is gonna get sent to here. Now this is gonna need some upgrades in it. And then this guy is going to be pulling from the back. So pulls. Beautiful. Has slime balls in there already. And then sends. Not sending. It's still out of range even with eight range augments. Really? That's not that far away, it feels like. Huh. That does not feel like it's that far away. 32. Max is 48. So I guess we got to make some more range augments. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this and this, which these are actually fairly cheap, fortunately, so yeah. Okay, very good. Remember, I have my little catch tray down here, so like we're fine. I just gotta, and we also have our lights on, so I'm like way less worried about, oops, oh, darn it. It's 24 for the max, okay. Now I, oops, I do think this might be taking away a little bit of the uh, spawns or a few of the spawns, but 
And it's not the biggest area in the world, but once it gets rolling, it'll really get rolling, you know? There it goes. Okay. So we're good there. All right, cool. So we're good. So we're good. We just got to let this thing run. We do need that uh, couple hundred slime balls there. Um, this is one of those farms, like, and this is what happened with our vanilla farm. We just let it run in the background the entire time. And as long as you're not needing it for your crystals, every crystal, like it just, it adds up to so much, to so much. Um, now I, I'm pretty sure you can do a back and forth one of these. Uh, like we have, we have one of those in our, our, our food farm, right? Instead of it turning around. I just worry, I always worry about it pushing the mobs outside the back. So I'd rather just extend the track a little bit and have it rotate. Um, so yeah. All right. Let's, let's set up a snowman farm here with another modular router. I think that's what we're going to do here. Cause I think this is going to remain manual, but I want to be able to like get a lot quickly. Right. And I actually have enough snow for this for this thing already. Yeah. But I want to I would like to do a nice little snowman farm here and show you how I like to set them up cuz they're they're actually pretty cool the way you can do it. And we also have access to vein miner, which is nice. Excuse me. Um which really does a lot. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can carve this with this. Oh, you sure can. All right, so that's that. Let's get the iron bars. And then we have this. And then we have a router here. And then... Uh, I would like the vacuum... Module, which is a little expensive. It is a little expensive. And we are trying to save for a po for an Echopog, technically. But we can also move this around if needed. Which is pretty neat. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the floor. No. Is that actually... Because this is all trim. I think we can break the trim line and still have that be within range. I think. Let's see. If I broke that trim there, do these blessings still show up? They do not. Okay, so that trim is, is vital. Uh, all right, got to put a few things away here. So probably just put it outside on the back of it. Okay, let's do that. Hop back up. Just verify that that, that was the key. That was the key. Okay, so we can just put it on the back side of this then. As... You can hide it. You can hide it as these bricks. Also, this is just completely exposed here at the moment anyway. Okay, so this is going to be... Can you... Yes, you can. Okay. I'm going to get more of these bricks out. Okay, for now... We whitelist that. Um, so I need to vacuum and then I need to send... Should only need the sender mark one though. But then we're gonna need uh, stack upgrades. Augment. What's the difference between the stack augment and the stack upgrade? These are actually, I think, relatively cheap. Yeah, they're a little more expensive on the steel, but that's okay. I think these go up to six. Yeah, or can be stacked up to six there. Uh, okay, that one has a six. And this one this one could probably go down in our mob farm. But honestly, I think I'm going to save those. Our mob farm's not like... Our mob farm's keeping up here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I would like my key out. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, I also want to lock that into place. And I also want to get... I don't want to unlock lock because then we lose things that are at zero, right? But for the quantity, that's fine. Oh, I got to send that to the proper side. So this is facing here. So we got to send it to the back. Okay. That should be good. Okay, so now... 
perfect. That picks up that, eventually that picks up that and gets that going. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the snowman just right here. I think even in this little corner here is perfect. And how I do it is we do that, then that, and that's where the snowman lives. Um, but I actually have to use the restroom. So I'm going to pause real quick and then we'll do that. It'll be like a jump cut for you guys. So be right back. All right, here we go. Sorry. When, uh, when you drink too much coffee, right? Okay. Might have to do this for this guy. Okay. Well, the thing with that is he may not hit this area. So, hmm. So, so the idea here is if you get if you get a snowman caught in the in the center of four iron bars, he'll always be leaning over to to make these go. Um, but yeah, no, that makes sense. Hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, we're good, we're good. Sorry, a little brain fart there. We'll just make it above here. And again, we don't need this directly at the moment. Oh, right, Savannah. Right. Okay. Annoying? Annoying. Well, we found a problem with the Savannah biome. Uh, huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Scratch that idea. Scratch that idea. We could go over to the river biome. Honestly, I think it's faster just to teleport back to our base, our original base, and do it there. And then what I'll do is we'll have a backpack or, and or just bring the drawer over. Honestly, I think the backpack and then unloading it will be faster. So you just give it a spot in one of the backpacks that can hold a lot. Do the same trick there. Um... And we'll set that up next time I need snowballs because, like I said, we have enough right now. So you just you you trap you trap an iron golem. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just go do it right now. Why not? You guys, just so you guys can see, in, in case you need snow in your world. But it's really effective. Uh, and then we have the snow we need. Okay. Even if we don't like use it at the moment. So yeah, we'll we'll go set up back at our main world here. Which we knew we were going to have a few farms in this area as well. So. Not a big deal. Alright. So. Then we do this, 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 that. And then. Of course I'll have to cover this. So the rain doesn't get him. I just see rain over there though. No. Hulkbuster. Thank you so much. For 20 months. How you been? It's good to see you. Really good to see you. Alright, do that. Let's grab that. And let's get some uh, fresh roars. Love my chat, please. Remember, these these subs really do help the full-time content creation and support everywhere. So thank you so much for, uh, for sharing that. Like I said, I hope you've been really well. Okay. So there you go. I want to give this guy a little bit of a roof. Okay. And why are we not producing snow on that? You should be producing snow on that. Maybe it needs to be a full block underneath. This might be one of the ones we have to do it above. Above. Are you too tall for this? Oh, maybe you're too tall for this. Ah, that's what it is. You're too tall for this. I see. I understand now. There we go. Perfect. For some reason, I thought they were smaller than that. Oh, here we go. So there, there's, there's the cage style. Look at that. Beautiful. So he'll always stay there. And then we can just 
I don't have a shovel on me, but you could just hit it this way. You can hit sit here with Bay Miner and just get it all, you know? And then pick it up in your bag, bring it back over. We do want to put rain protection, though. I got to go one higher. Perfect. But yeah, then, then you always have access to three, which is nice. You can actually put them in the center here with a, with a total of four, to be honest. Because you have access to Vein Miner, you just mine on the edge. Uh, without Vein Miner, though, this one you can actually hit all three. Of subs. Take a new cage and fill it with love for your content and hopes you can continue to do what you love and puns. 89 kgeriums of subs on the wall. 89 kgeriums of, of is just funny. Camp Cool, thank you for the 87 months. I like the uh, the slipping of end puns there. That was good. That was good. Do appreciate that. Um, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, nice getting up there on the slimes. Um, appreciate you. Thank you so much for the 87 months. And I will, uh, yeah continue to do so as long as we keep getting all awesome support like that you know cheers all right so we just need to wait for we just need to wait for slime now for looting three will help so what i might go do is um <clears throat> go manually kill these guys a little bit get an area that's a couple blocks away this is a smaller area than I was expecting. Like, this is less spawns than I was expecting in this small area. Um, and I think that's because we have a hostile mob farm here as well. So, like, if, if we disable that, actually. Hold on. Let's see. Let's disable that by doing this. And see if we get more. Which I think we will. Because I think these are classified as hostile mobs. But um, what I might do is I might take out the spikes and just go hit, go kill them manually just to get the initial that we need. And then once we have this run for long enough, I mean, you see there, we already have, you know, plus 12 in the short time we've been loading this. Um, all we need to do is load it for, you know, however many times and they'll, they'll uh, spawn a lot more, you know, they'll spawn a lot more. So anyway, um, I'm going to pause you. And then once we have enough slime to run a vault, we're going to run a vault. Uh, keep looking for iron, keep looking for knowledge. Uh, all that stuff and uh, more coming right up. All right, so I was expecting a lot better rates on this farm, um, but it's just not spawning slimes. So I'm going to go expand it a little bit. We're going to go expand it. I'm going to just keep the same concept. I think I might put... I'm trying to decide whether I want to put the catch tray out of the chunk. I think I'm going to try expanding it width-wise first. Then if that still doesn't work, we'll, uh, we'll put some... We'll put some there. It looks like we can put this to be about 16 wide. So we'll, you know, we'll have plenty of plenty of room to do that. We might have to extend that one. I also may, instead of doing this turnaround, I might do the back and forth one because it's just it's the longer it is, the the more time it needs to turn around. So I think I'm just gonna make that a back and forth one. So yeah. Okay. Just gonna make a bigger platform. That's it. And then uh yeah, we'll uh see when that is done. All right, save me from the puns, YouTube. Save me from the puns. So, uh, expanded the platform. A little expansion there. Um, so, I want to show off this trick. And we're just have these locked rotations, so they're going to go back and forth, back and forth, and then they'll they'll kind of like meet meet the paths and 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 go to put them all in a little four by four catch tray there. So, what I want to do in show off is you can actually pick up entire cart contraptions and then place them so this is a cart contraption we could place that back down it should be fine to go and the reason i need to pick that up in place is because i need to build the other one and it's going to be in the way of that so we're going to put this this way and then we do the same thing here And the one, the one high should be good enough, I think. Um, I think they go fast YouTube enough where the slimes won't be able to jump you. over them too much. Dead Pine, what's the most uplifting type of music? Elevator music. I heard that one yesterday. Not by you. So, I don't think that counts because... 
Yeah, I don't think that counts. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> um, thank you for the 100 bits, Gab Goal. I do appreciate the support. Okay, so. Uh, flop you back on. And then we have the extra card here. I should pick up that. Oh, I forgot to lock the rotation. Uh, okay. So, says, again, uh, wrench, Challenge scroll wheel accepted. down. What's the hardest shape to get out of? A trapezoid. Nice. So scroll wheel down on your wrench. Um, always facing forward. Lock rotation. And we, want, we want lock rotation here. So, And then this should be good. Very nice. Return that off. Because that'll, that'll turn these guys off here. And then we can... Be very, 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 very careful with this card assembler. I do not want to lose it. Now, this should be good. Then we get our cart contraption back here. It's facing the wrong way. Classic. I wonder if I... Yes. All right. So, I'm going to get one of them going. Just got to push it. And then my goal... Let me just get that filled back in is to launch this one when they're at the same moment, give or take. Uh, this will be... So we want to hit this one when it's on its rebound here. There we go. So now, uh, it's, it's close, it's close. I guess this one, maybe this one's slightly longer? I'm not really sure. Anyway, you can see they're, they're going to get pushed into there. My goal is to have it go completely the same time, but I, this is just silly. And I enjoy and I enjoy silliness a whole heckin' lot. And hopefully, hopefully with the extra space, we'll be able to... Um, we'll be able to get the kills here. Okay, we also need to get more spikes, of course, but I want to get the initials going there for when the slimes theoretically start spawning. And hopefully the extra space will let, you know, let the larger, the larger slimes. We have our mob farm turned off still. And at the end of the day, we could also just throw in an iron golem there. Maybe these are blocking it enough where they don't spawn, you know? I, I don't know. Hey, Harry Potter, how are you? It's a little concerning that they're not spawning immediately. It's, it's just a little concerning. And this also may be just another argument to go get the uh, the eye spawner going ASAP. Hey, what up, Desert Punk? Ah, it's really concerning. I do, I swear our mob farm in the other one, like the other one, was just like stupid efficient. So, but it might have just been the Y level. Honestly, it might have just been the Y level. You know? Now, the cool thing is we have these carts assembled. So, what we could do is if we did want to move it down Y level wise, we could um, pick up the carts, copy and paste this thing, and just put it down below. That is a viable thing. And I don't think we're close. Or I don't think we're too close to it. We are. That is in a slime chunk, right? I wonder if the map is. I mean, a slime spawned there, though. You know? But I do wonder if this is blocking spawns. Or if the light level's too high. Like, it, it shouldn't matter. Light level shouldn't matter. In a slime chunk. Hmm. I've never had this much issue. But it really could just be because it's, it's like, barely, barely away there. True. Could turn off the cards and see if they're a problem. True, 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 true. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do that. Yeah, and maybe it's the illuminated blocks. Maybe we just need less in there. I need a, I need an easier way to get to this, this side. Right, 
Now we're too close. Yeah, I almost wonder if there's too much light in there. Or if the or if those Oh no, that yeah, it is the carts. Interesting. Oh well that's such a bummer. I love using those things to <laughs> get the slimes going. Oh, we're gonna have to go with the boring vanilla route. Well, at least we're learning something, I guess. Oh, that's so boring. But it's so effective. It's so effective. Hey, Mr. Purple, how are you? Yeah. Could put a timer on the carts, and then we're just overcomplicating it, right? Like, yeah. I mean, that's that's where the you want the car, the carts to rotate comes into play. I mean, what we could do is just really extend the track and have them rotate, right? There are create fans, but that requires create power. The cart assembler requires just a cart. There it goes. I want to see if another one spawns after this. After they go. Yeah, almost immediately. Okay, so it is the carts. So, again, we could do the loop, which you need a massive loop for that to work, which is not a really a big deal. Yep, I know, Mr. Purple, I know. We've just been excited to use our carts for everything. Um... That is wild, though, that they're preventing spawns there. I, I really wasn't expecting that. I wonder if... Oh, they didn't, they didn't want to hit the small slimes. I was wondering if we, we upped the... Like, made it level 2. Also, I see what you're saying. We could also just really extend this outwards and just keep them keep them on the locked rotation as well. I guess that's pretty easy too. That's actually easier than the other one, than like making them rotate. Yeah, let's do that because it is almost immediate. Okay, all right. I'm gonna extend these and see if that uh, works for us, uh, YouTube. Okay, so, uh, got the rest of the spikes, made these the exact same length away, and we connected them with redstone, so I can hopefully get them, get them going on the same trajectory. Also, this one was, uh, one off. They were, they were not ending at the same spot, which is why they look so funky before. So, we're gonna hopefully do that. Wait, what? Oh, no! Okay, alright, I forgot to, alright. Uh, take two, take two, take two. I forgot to uh, <clears throat> re-enable this one. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Get them back to position one. Okay, okay, okay. Looks like this is going to work. Using some scaffolding blocks here. Okay. Beautiful. Let's see if they come back at the same time, roughly. Roughly. Yeah, roughly. They have slightly different, like, actual track linings in them. Hey, and the slime is spawning. Does it work? Whoop. <laughs> oh, it got stuck on top. All right, we're we'll probably going to make these too wide, too tall then. Gotcha. It got stuck on top. Oh, that worked. Look at that. Boop. <laughs> okay. Again. Iron Golem works totally fine. If you don't have the card assembler, you literally just slap an Iron Golem in the corner, have it them aggro to the Iron Golem where they can't hit it, line of sight, but they can't hit it. This is so much better, though. <laughs> so much better, though. Yeah, slimes jump, so making this too tall will um, prevent that. I don't even know if we need to, though. Like, it, it's fine. We don't need to kill them, like quickly quickly you know as long as they're spawning <laughs> uh river biome i think is bad camp goal i think river and ocean are bad i could be wrong on that though 
Looks like they're ever so slightly off, but that's okay. They'll have some sort of resonance where they they, they meet up. But um, all right. Well, I'm highly satisfied with that. It's again, it's not the most efficient thing in the world. I think the iron Go not think the iron golem would be more efficient, but that's not efficiency isn't everything in building farms, okay? Efficiency isn't everything. Once we get the eye spawner, we'll be able to spawn in slimes and kill them with looting and we'll be we'll be so happy that way. But until that uh, until such time, we're going to be very very happy with our uh our our silliness that is. I just want to see this go up at least once. Go up once. Please. All right, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna let this run for a little bit while maybe working on some other stuff. Once we get to 135, we're gonna run a vault, and uh, I will see you all for that. All right, here we go. We're at the vault. So, uh, enchant all of our stuff. Um, we remembered both backpacks this time, <laughs> um, and we're gonna try out this axe. I get the feeling I'm gonna swap back to the sword, but nearly a block of range. Plus a little extra damage, plus the same stun percent chance, um, I think could be quite interesting. So, uh, our our prediction, our prediction for Twitch chat, if you want to join in, which um, at the time of this recording, I haven't gotten to the comments of people with the predictions yet. So, thank you for doing that if you have. Um, the prediction is: Will we get 125 plus chests? So, 125 chests or more in the vault looted. Um, it's going to depend on our rooms. We, we were looking at the stats. It's like either under 100 or like almost 200 chests. It depends on the vault we run and the uh, the kind of POIs we get. So uh, I think there's a good chance, but I also think there's a lot of things that can go wrong that make it so we don't get there. Okay. I just listened to watch Vanilla Minecraft guy here. Everything you do talk about is way above my brain. I, I mean... Yeah. Oh, trapped is actually going to be a big deal. Now, this is... Trap chests don't count towards that total. So, that'll actually be kind of interesting. And that and that's that's actually totally reasonable. I'm glad you enjoy it, regardless of, uh, regardless of that. Let's see how far away we can hit these guys. Oh, that's really far away. Not quite. Yeah. So, I think with this one, it's, it's just like... It's about getting used to the, the spacing. Is what makes it powerful. Also, all those mobs are worth a decent amount of elixir. Especially with speed, too. Like, they're not even getting close to me. Which is really nice. Oops. Alright, meant to do that. It's about a block, which is why I'm why I'm trying it out. Like, in a full block in Minecraft combat is a lot. And that's because the implicit was, uh, like, 0.6, and then the, um, we rolled, like, a 0.3. Uh, 0.3 on it. Ooh, trapped his arm. Let's go. Saving the believers. Good job, Traptus Arm. But yeah, I think the key to this one's gonna be just getting used to it. Why are there only two mobs spawning on that? It's weird. Uh, I'm gonna put this in here for now. I think I'm gonna stick with this. Oh, the fact that I can hit that. And the stunning chance is actually quite good as well. That dust trap chest. Uh oh. And lucky. So lucky is. It's lucky. Twenty percent rarity. Wow, that's actually really good. So we really want to find like non wooden chests. Okay, so not quite a one room uh, a one room finish here, but you know, pretty close. And by pretty close, I mean it's only. Half a bar, but I feel like if that room had more POIs in it, we would have gotten there. That room felt very, uh, very lax in the POIs. Worth a decent amount. Nice. 
Bad axing jewel, but a jewel nonetheless. Still equals free Wu today. Baby zombie. Oh, I'll miss that. Definitely see the rare items in here. Oh, nice. That's stunning, though. Almost there. I mean, fair enough, Mads. I don't know. Is that an elite spider? I think it's elite spider. Yep. Oh, yep. Coming from that way. Careful now. Oh, jeez. I don't know how good chaining one's going to be on this. This is really where you want chaining two. Or javelin. Jumpy. Oh, they, that that I can hit them without them jumping, or before they like to jump. It's pretty sweet. I don't want to get ambushed by this elite. Looks like it's kind of stuck, but also not kind of stuck. Okay. Can you not get out of that? Oh, no, you can get out of that. Okay. Stunned. Eight percent though. Oh, we can hit from so far away. Ah, I got stuck. Oh, what a key block. That was such a good block. Ow. It might be a dependent. Like, it, I wonder if um. Ow. Gotta not pay attention to chat here. I wonder if uh, Thermal is dependent on it. These guys are actually the worst. Oh, God. I can't run on these spikes. Okay. Whew. That was more effort than it should have been. Reach is so good, miss during the jump, but one hit behind. Yeah. I think I got that. Yeah, I don't know. I would imagine with the dev team that they have, that there is a reason. But also, they, they may not be a reason. Could just be a... Whoops, we forgot about this. Hey, Tigara, how are you? Okay, so now we're just in search of a lodestone. And all the chests... Did you say go, spiders, go? It's very rude. Very, very rude. Oh, and I spawned that one already. Classic. Tra the trap might get the, uh, might get you there.
Enjoyed Diablo 4 stress test this weekend. Nice. Very nice. Spider overlords are great. Oh my goodness. Killing me, chat. Deal with you. It may be slower to kill, but it is nice and cozy being that far away from mobs, I, I gotta say. I think I still prefer the sword, though. I don't know. It's close. That was a coin, uh, coin affinity jewel, which is nice. I love it. Oh, it's so good. Fortunately for believers, we don't need, uh, we really don't need ores right now. I guess we kind of need pogs a little bit, but not so much. I'm going to go out of my way for ores. I'll grab the easy to grab ones, but, um, yeah. Also, we had a point to spend. I didn't spend it. Well, one I forgot, but we didn't spend it really. Oh, that's was inefficient. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm saving for or what I, you know what we're going for here. Well, I take it back. I take it back. Go away. Go away. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Because I might be starting to save for the javelin. That'd be kind of fun. Like the javelin plus the pierce. I mean, this is this is great. Oh, there was that burp. I missed it, though. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. I don't know. Maybe Great Lakes Girl exaggerated. Maybe she's got a different one. Maybe my mob sounds are, like, turned lower than hers. <laughs> Got all those, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, missed it. A lot of gilded here. Like that. Hey, Riptide. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Hope we're doing really well. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Trapped is only 5%, you know? Rude. <laughs> How you doing, Frazzadaz? Always good to see you. Yes, yes, yes. It's me, Fraz. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Fraz. I actually need a haircut pretty bad, but appreciate that. I'm feeling good. That, that, I think that's the difference is I'm, I'm feeling much better today. That can always make a big difference, right? Oh, did not see you for some reason. Oh, jeez. All the way down. Okay. Uh, let's grab that regen real quick, actually. I think that's worth our time. And then it really doesn't matter the direction we go. We just got to find a lodestone. So let's just go the closest one. Oh, and that's backwards because I didn't mark my exit. Do a good thanks, buddy, in uh, Glasgow tonight with my friends. Can't wait. Nice. That's awesome. I hope you have a great time with your friends. Living. Nice. I do think one of my goals is going to be to lock, unlock all the mods, except for maybe the automatic genius. But, like, be really aggressive on the, unlocking everything. Just use the best 
best mod for the job, you know. I think ice spawners is, is gonna is coming up though. I really would like to get some ice spawners going. I think that'd be fun. No, we, we keep it English in chat. And Spanish is my b best secondary language, and by that I mean I know more of it than any other language. But I don't know that much of it. So. But we tend to keep it in English in chat, just so everybody can track along, you know. Languages for cowards use telepathy. Not sure about that. Just trying to trying to gauge that range. Cause boy, is it far. Rude. Flask in our our bag here. Nice. Frazadaz with a gifted sub. Thank you so much. Gifted a tier one sub to Alex. No serves. Appreciate you so very much. Supporting the content like you do. Thirteen out of thirty-two today. I think is that what is what makes that. Really appreciate you. And let's get some fresh lore stuff, love and hype in the chat, please, because I cannot be full time without uh, without that kind of support. It's super epic. Something went wrong while checking. Try again later. It's too low. It's it's too old. It's too long. Scam. That's not on me. That's on stream elements. I didn't. I did nothing. That's on stream elements. <laughs> yeah, we'll be coming up on 10 years streaming in this November. And I think you're going to be like basically right in there. Right in that range. So, well played. Someone found a, uh, a lodestone. A little concerning. You're almost at nine years. Yeah, isn't that wild? Decade of content creation, huh? Uh, Drawlands, this is a is mod pack, not a mod, and it's um, Expedition Vault. I think is what, what we're looking for here. Oh, we got a trap chest, but then we had that 2% trap disarm. No worries. Yeah, Ball Hunters has been Well Can we can we honestly think of the last pack that kept me occupied for almost a year and will probably keep me occupied for over a year? Cause I'm pretty sure it was Mad Pack 2, and that's only because we were speedrunning it. And we also did other things in the meantime. So like that's a testament to how good this pack is for me, anyway. And there's probably an argument to like Take a little break and do all that stuff, but don't want to leave the uh, the tubers behind and have them have nothing. But you know, I also do want to make unique mod pack stuff. Yeah, we played PO3. Nah, it didn't take us a year. That was like a couple months at most. So you gotta remember, I don't I don't go for completions as a row. I don't go for completions of quest books. There there comes a point in most questing situations where I get bored because it's just because what the, I'm doing what the quest book told me to do, and I don't like that. Right? 
That's not that's not fun for me. Um, I don't think we care for that. Uh, why this pack is so unique is because it's a bit of a grind, but the grind is working towards something very unique, which is the final vault. You know? But I'm not going to go gather 100. Like, we got to the point where I needed to do all of the, um, like, the uh, however many X amount of items per singularity thing, or whatever it was. The singularity grind. I don't, I don't think there's singularities. There's some other grind. Okay, that was dangerous. And I had to either AFK it for, like, a week or build more farms. And I just didn't feel like building more farms, you know? So, we got to that hurry up and wait scenario. I think it's, I think it's the terminology I use. And we were very close to beating the pack. Like we could see the end we you know, we could see the end goals in 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 sight, you know. But it was just boring at that point. And that's okay. I didn't have the strong enough drive to want to finish it, right? And that's okay. Oh jeez. Please don't hurt me. So. No witty comment this time. Where's the spawner? No witty comment this time. That's okay. Sickness Jones, thank you for the 86 months of support. Okay. Trying to do a sneaky, uh, a sneaky pause there. All right, let's uh let's get up into this. This might hurt the uh, believers here a little bit, but that's okay. Cuz there I think this is a one spawner thing. I just I don't know where the spawner is. Is there anything above this? No. So it's below. I'm just going to do that just in case. There's the spawner. All right, let me try to get rid of this. I love having that speed. Okay, I don't know if this is a one spawner spawner or a two spawner spawner. I guess we'll try to find out. Ah, uh, yeah, it's unobtainium. Oh, it was below here. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on with the jumping. This is why I don't like axes. This is why I don't like axes. Here are more of the bad guys. Is it because they got out? Yes. Here another one. Once again, don't know, don't know if there's another spawner in here or not. I think that might be just somebody uh, from down below. Oh, that's satisfying. Uh, I don't see an altar either. Rude. Uh, still worth, still worth our time, I think. Right, good. I still think they could buff the axe damage by a little bit and be totally fine with it. Just the slow swing speed is just so not good, <laughs> you know. I think they could like maybe maybe like nerf it a little bit, but still have it be higher than swords, and I think it would be totally fine because that would be a reason for me want to want to use it. Is this time on the vault? I just we have three minutes left in this vault. Chat, what happened to our time? Hello. All right, I gotta go find a lodestone ASAP. Stop 
we getting health, dude? Alright, uh, I have time to, like, loot this. Holy smokes. And then this, and then put that away, and then put those away. How the heck do we only have three minutes left? Like, what did I spend my time? I guess fighting the spider? All right, well, minor panic. Sorry, major panic. Let's start heading back towards at least the uh, where the compass is pointing. So, if, like, we really got a bail, we got a bail, but... And then let's also grab out these. Those away. We're just on pure lodestone hunting here. Did not mean to fall, but here we are. Okay, nothing. Let's go that way. I hate these spikes. Uh, this this is one of my least favorite. I love the way this theme looks. Those spikes always hold me up. I'm also like my brain's in panic mode at the mel at the moment as well. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, messed up that one. Shouldn't have healed that. Can't be in here, because it's... This is a specialty room. At least we know we can skip it. Thank you. Come on. Well, shoot, chat. I didn't... Mm. Alright. Got distracted, but I haven't, I'm having too much fun. Alright. Alright, there's the back of our spawner here, so let's go this way one more. Got a couple rooms to see. Oh, is this another village room, dude? Come on. Unlucky. I'm playing Sky Bolts, but you can play this in regular. Oh, come on with the spires, please. Alright, come on. There's gotta be a lodestone. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, I'm gonna just, like, straight up run out of time. Thank you for the sub. Uh, this should be my starter room. Oh, don't open the bag, you dummy! Oh, that was that might have cost me. I think I'm dead. Oh no! I think I'm dead because of that missed thing. I'm dead. I died because I missed my my thing. Oh man. How? Where did the time go? I don't know where the time. Did we like? We didn't lose time, did we? Because my internal clock was like, how is there three minutes left? Only 121 chests as well. Wow. Double double fail. Never saw a lodestone. Not once. Which feels weird. Am I open to land? No, I'm not open to land. That would have triggered. Yeah. Wow. 
That's really unfortunate. Our second death is... And I, and I had my backup sword on me because I was testing out the axe. Oh, that's so rough. That's so rough. All right, well... Not believers take it home, which is good payout for them. It's good odds. Nope, I'm playing hardcore. I'm playing hardcore, which I like. I prefer this. I prefer having to like build stuff back again. Like that's on me. That's on me. Uh, there's nothing really for it. That's on me. I I made a mistake, right? I made a mistake. I, I just genuinely don't know where the time went. I, I did not feel like we were in the vault for that long. But I guess time flies when you're having fun. God, losing that sickle really sucks. Uh. All right, how much steel do we have? An okay amount. That's going to determine how many pouches we can build. Give or take. All right, what did I have? 116 there? Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, now I'm tempted to put a, put some points into Hunter so we can find our objectives. <laughs> that feels really unlucky with the Lodestone, but it also feels unlucky with the timing there. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't... That. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have to, I'd have to go back and look. Maybe I was distracted. I genuinely don't know. pretty good actually that actually might be sick because then you have like your healing but but also your huh no i didn't search the rooms as well which is where the hunter comes into play right definitely where the hunter comes into play all right well nice all right at least that's working and i think we have everything for this next one maybe not the sea pickles so, we're going to kick off next episode, because we are going to move to the next episode, YouTube. That's a bit of a bummer of a death, but that's how it goes. We're going to rebuild. It's going to be fine. We have an extra pouch here that we can use as backup. Um, I really got to stop dying, though, because we are cutting it close to all the steel. Um, we're going to rebuild our armory. Maybe work on a sea pickle farm? I don't really know. We'll see. Because a sea pickle farm is just a matter of bone mealing, I think, right? So maybe we'll get some modular routers going for that specific use that we can just toggle on depending on how much how many uh, how much bone meal we have in, into it. Um, maybe we'll mess with that. But definitely got to rebuild first. Definitely got to rebuild first. Um, and then we'll work out the sea pickle stuff. I wonder if you can harvest sea pickles with the harvester. I know they don't grow naturally, but they they spread grow, right? So I wonder if you could, like, put them in line with the harvester and have that go. We'll have to test that theory. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Bit of a bummer death, but we're going to come back better. We're going to come back stronger. It's going to be all good. We might even craft some gear because we have we have enough to make alloy. Uh, we just got to break down our pay night. So we could certainly craft some gear. Get our, get our artisan levels going, because these do go up quite, quite well. Um, and we have backup here, you know? Like, we're not we're not completely lost here. You know, we got, we have some backup stuff. I guess I don't have boots. Um, but, you know, we have this magnet. We have, we have the rarity magnet. We have the reach magnet. All that stuff and more. So, we, you know, we're we're not not dead in the water. Obviously, we lost some good stuff there. Pouch. I wish you could just buy back pouches. I wish you could give pouches soulbound somehow. Because that's... The most annoying thing to recraft. I just hate recrafting pouches. That's the only reason I ever wanted to be able to buy back my body. Gear, love recrafting. Armor, love recrafting. Tools, don't mind recrafting. I would prefer to keep them. But that's what soul, that's why soul bound is so important, right? But pouches, for some reason, I just hate. I hate recrafting. I, I, even though I can save, I know I can save this stuff and it's just a matter of putting in resources. I still hate For some reason, I just hate it. So anyway, um, if you're new, drop a sub on the channel. Love to have you back. Um... We're going to be great. We're going to be fine. This is totally good. We're going to rebuild. It's going to be great. Um, we're going to build a sea pickle farm. We're going to improve other farms. We're going to maybe set up the mushroom farm. I didn't. I never set up the mushroom farm to to work in full. So maybe we'll have some like bone mealy farms out, out nearby there. Uh, yeah. 
All that and more in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you in the next one. Big shout out to all the people sharing their primes. I do see you uh, sharing your prime in the Twitch chat. That's a big deal. Really supports the content here on here on YouTube as well as on Twitch. Channel memberships, all the Patreon members, you're all amazing. Thank you for going above and beyond supporting the content by more than just watching. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Catch you next one. Bye-bye.